students and friends of Elite Tuition, welcome back to our Passing Sure Looks Easy series. All right. So as you can see, we'll be doing another kind of question. This one is quite popular in year two zero one nine. All right. Yes, I call this overlapping diagrams. All right. To make it more exciting a little bit, got storyline in two zero one nine. The latest trend is to wear necklaces in the shape of semicircle. Who does that? I also don't know. Like, never mind. A designer created the following design. Okay, wow. The necklace is made up of five identical semicircles. What's the meaning of identical? Same, same. Okay. Find the area of one semicircle expressing the area in terms of pi. Can do? Can. What is the area of a circle first? All right. Write out some clues. So area of a circle is given as pi r squared, right? You want to find the area of a semicircle. A semicircle is half of a circle. So it's actually half pi r squared. Is that true? Easy or sure. Find the radius can ready. Correct. Uh, how do you find the radius? Hmm. Okay, maybe if you cannot find the radius, we can easily find the diameter first. From diameter, we can divide by 2 to find the radius. Easily? You say easily? Really? Alright, let's take a look at what we should do. So down here, you see the five semicircles, right? And can you see that there are some parts that is overlapping? Mm. So for question that they give you the diagram, right? My advice to you, sometimes just take the piece of paper and just turn around, turn it upside down, turn it right side up, all right? Don't have to turn your head, just, just turn a piece of paper, all right? You will be able to see certain clues coming out one, really, all right? If not, always look for places that overlaps. So as you can see, the green and the green down here, Okay, it's 22 cm. Okay, nothing much I can do. 12 and 12 and now it's 16. Sure, everything plus together. Lah. Uh, then divide by 5. Lah. Uh, really? Really? Alright, there's these little gaps down here that is what? It's not accounted for. Can you see these gaps here? That's not accounted for. So your 22 plus 12 plus 16 plus 12 plus 22, then what? Divide by what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Are you saying that this portion are the, the, the same length? No. If they are the same length, they would have given you the same numbers already. Alright, so in this question, don't assume too much. Can we try to find the diameter and maybe find the radius to find the area? Yes? Okay, explode. Okay, exploded view. Huh? So exploded view means what? Means that the two semicircles here, I push it down a little bit to create a space here. Can you see where is the overlap portion? Alright, can you see that this portion, right? And this portion is actually the overlap. Okay, so here and here, right? This white color portion and this white color portion. Can I say that they're of the same length? Can? And this white color portion here and this white color portion here. Can I say that they are of the same length? Yes. All right. So down here, same, 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 same. If down here is 22, down here will be 22. So this portion here will be a green color arrow. Is that true? Is that true? All right. Because you got to be fair, right? Right. White and white, green and green. So if this is 22, down here must also be a 22 cm. Can you see that? Hey, sure. Does that mean if this is 22, this is 12, this little thing is what? The, this portion, all right? This portion, uh, I call it blue, lah, huh? but can see, lah. this portion here, cannot see. Okay, this portion here to here. Okay, this blue, this in between these two blue lines uh, is what? Alright, this is 22, this is 12, which means this is 10 cm. Okay, okay, you can see that, that's good. Look at the other side. Same thing, the white and the white overlap, right? This and this, white and white is the same. This diameter here is made up of one white and one green. Down here is one white and one green also, because it's identical semicircle, right? So down here must have your green also. Hey, sure, that means I can see something. Uh, I know you can see. Okay, that means down here is also 22 cm. Ready? Okay, uh. down here, what do you see down here? This length here to here will be what? Okay, and another one will be here to here. Where is this gap again? Yes, because here is 22, here is 12, which means down here, 22 minus 12 is a 10 cm again. Here is a 10. Is that okay? Hey, that gives me the entire what already? The entire diameter already. Can you see? Alright, so diameter from here to here. So the entire diameter will be what? 10 plus 16 plus 10, no? 
So diameter will be given as 10 plus 16 plus 10. That will give you a 36 centimeter. Lock it in as 36 centimeter for diameter. Radius will be 36 divided by 2 to give you a 18 centimeter. And the question is looking for area of one semicircle. Area is given as what? Area is given as half times pi r squared, leaving your pi in the answer. So your r is a 18. So it's actually half times pi times 18 times 18. Okay, press your calculator, the numbers without the pi. You press 18 times 18 times half. And that will give you a 162. And your pi still remain at the back, cm squared. And that's how you lock in your answer as 162 pi cm squared. Area of one semicircle. Problem? No. Actually quite simple? Yes. Look for the overlap. Be fair. Because they say it's the same semicircle, right? So 22 with 1 white, 1 white with 1 22. Okay. Do the same the other side. You compare the gap here. It's a 10. That side, you do the same. Look for 1 diameter. Can find radius. Can find area of semicircle. Cool. Easy, right? Yeah. Alright, so overlapping diagrams right, like this, right? Always keep coming out one. Alright, so get used to it. Learn to visualize it out. Have fun. Maybe turn the paper, you can fold a little bit to see what's happening. Alright, practice folding some papers at home first. Make an aeroplane lah. Alright, then you can see certain parts that overlap. That's a good practice actually. Alright, anyway, if you have any more questions, you know, you can write to me. With more students uh, writing about the same question, I'll be able to come up with a video and I'll call it, Yes, Passing Sure Looks Easy. Alright, so that you can help other students in the next year and so on. Cool. All right, I'll see you in the next question.